boys and girls and welcome to Goron Guitar. We have Wish Wednesday. So this one is a Lucas Graham song. It's called Never Change and it's wished uh, by you, Joanne Schatz. You uh, have been waiting for this for a while. I'm sorry for that. I'm doing my best, but this one is special for you and for all you Lucas Graham fans. So I hope you will enjoy it. And let's take a look at this beautiful song here. We have a capo set here on the second fret, all right? So that will be the easiest scenario for us to get um, all the possibilities here that is uh, presented for us when it comes to the pickings, the strumming, the chords and all that. So capo on second and let's go over a couple of chords. So we have, um, yeah, it's a basic uh, five chord song, so to speak. We have different grips, so it, it gets a little bit out of that frame, but basically four or five chords, that's what we need. So let's go over the basic chords first. We have first E, and that is open E, second A, second D, first G, open B, and open E. Then we have the D. It's open D, second G, third B, and second E. Um, yeah, actually we can go over all the chords here, even if we will mostly play the pickings from it. But anyway, yeah, so it will be a little bit more than four or five chords. Next chord will be the A, but with the C sharp in the bass. So what you do here, you're gonna place a bar on the second fret from the D string and down, so that it's uh, uh, four strings up. So one, two, three, four, like this and then you place uh, your finger there on the fourth fret A string. That's the C sharp note. So that is A with C sharp, A, C. All right, then we have the standard A. And uh, you can go still with the bar there uh, if you want. Uh, the real chord looks like this. So it's open A, second D, second G, second B, and then open E. So be careful if you do the bar, uh, try to avoid the last E string there, uh, if you do the strumming or so. Uh, yes, so that was the A. The next chord is A minor. So that is open A, second D, second G, and then first B. That's where the difference happens, and then open E. So from A to A minor. All right, and then we have the B, and I'm lazy, like, um, mostly are when it comes to guitar playing. So I do the sus version here. The real B is like this. Uh, in any way, you have a bar chord here. So it's bar on the second fret from the A string down. So all strings except for the last E. So five strings from bottom up on the second fret. And then the rest will be fourth on D, fourth on G and fourth on B. The sus version is just to take away the little pinky there. So just get this grip and it's much easier and mostly doesn't affect the song that much so i go with the sus version i showed you both the b and the sus in here in the intro of this uh, tutorial so you can listen to it if you want anyway that's the b and there i think we are in goal when it comes to the chords here um we don't have any more chords to handle here for this song and i'm gonna show you how to play the picking patterns here. This is a piano based song, so um, you have that in mind. We'll go as close as we can when it comes to the pickings here on my guitar. But I'm gonna also show you how to handle this a little bit easier way when it comes to strumming and go past uh, all these pickings, uh, which can be a little bit stressful. I'm gonna uh, do that later. But first, let's take a look at the verse and the pickings here. So it starts with E. So here, you're gonna just hold this one, it's enough. So first fret on G string, and one round is like this. So you pick the open B together with first G, and then you answer on the open E string in the bass. That is one round. You're gonna play that for eight rounds, so. It goes a little faster than that, so standard tempo is something like this. All right, 
a little bit fast. This is eight rounds, okay? And this is how it sounds originally. You can have that if you want and get some ease for your hand here, your picking hand, right hand perhaps. So you can just do it in half, a little bit slower, and it will be like this. So have that in mind when you do all the pickings here. Uh, do it a half amount of times and slow it down a little bit easier. All right, so that's the E and then we go to the D and the technique here will be the best here to just slot here into the second fret, same string with your index finger and place it on the second there and then you're gonna play the D, it goes like this. That's one round. So it's open B again with now the second G string together like that and now you answer on the open D string so eight times there as well then we have the A C chord the A with the C sharp in the bass what you do here when you are on your second fret G string you just place a bar like this so you just turn it down and you add the fourth fret on A string with one finger there. And now you're gonna pick the second fret G string together with second B, and you answer on the fourth fret A. Do that eight times. All right, or four times have that with you and then we have the final chord here this is the a minor now you're gonna slide up to this position the second fret on g string together with first b pick that one and you answer on the open a eight times so one round will be like this a little bit slower e So there you have the corporation E, D, A, C, and A minor. You do that for two rounds and that's your first verse. All right, let's go into the first pre-course. Now we're gonna play just downs here with full chords. So you're gonna play first A, then B, then E, and then A. That's the first half of it, so two times. A, B, and E, and then you quickly change to A and play one down. Again, one, two, B, 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 A, and pause. And then you start again, second half, A, A, B, B, and A, two, three, four. And that's the pre chorus. So to summarize this one, a2, B2, E2, A, then A2, B2, A4. All right, and then comes the chorus, and this is pretty much the final part, then everything else is pretty much repetition. So the chords now will be E, B, A, and A minor. That's the chord progression for chorus. You're gonna follow the same pattern here when it comes to E, eight times. Same pattern as in a verse. Then for B, you're gonna go to this position. Eight times. And what you do here, you're gonna play fourth on G together with fourth on D. And now you answer on the first fret, sorry, second fret A string. play A, you follow the same um, as in the, no, we actually haven't played this one A, so uh, we're gonna play the second fret D string, uh, sorry, second fret B string to go to second G, 
and you answer now with the open A. Sorry, I got a little bit lost there, but yeah, anyway, that's the A. So second B together with second G, and you answer on A. You do that for eight rounds. And then you have the A minor eight times in the same way as you play the verse. So just to summarize this a little bit blurry chorus uh, explanation here, we had the E first, same as in verse, eight times. And we have the B, fourth on G and D together with uh, then the second A string. Then with the A, the second G and second B together, and then you answer on the open A. And then we have the A minor in the same way as the verse second G together with first B and you answer on the open A. That chord progression you do for two rounds. All right. And then afterwards, it's pretty much repetition. Second verse, second pre-chorus, second chorus is played in the same way as the parts we just went over. Then comes uh, after second chorus, a uh, post-chorus part. You're gonna continue with the chorus play for one round. So you just continue there. It pretty much will be three rounds of the chorus. Then comes the third pre-chorus, played in the same way as the previous pre-choruses. And then a third chorus, played again in the same way. And then we have just a final outro part. You're gonna play in the same way as a post-chorus part. So just another chorus play there. So it's very similar after you have these verse, pre-chorus and chorus plays, uh, you just repeat everything else in different ways there. So that is pretty much how to handle the song, but I promised you will get a strumming pattern and that can exclude all these pickings, all right? So if we go back to basics again, the first chord starting E, all right? So grab that one. One strumming pattern could be like this. So with the chord progression, it could be like this for the chords. So what you do here, you play down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. All right, so down, up times four, that is one strumming round. On the third down, I would like to play a little bit more on the top string, so a little bit uh, color to your strumming. So down, up, down, up, down, on the third down, up, down, up. Everything else you play with more on the bass mid strings. So slowly like this. that you can replace all the pickings here but one string around down up down up down up down up and it's only worth four so when you go to the strumming here you will have to do two strumming rounds per chord for all the chords that has this uh, times eight so pretty much every chord where you use the picking here so e handle the song so um, yeah that is pretty much Lucas Grand's never change a great uh, wish there from you Joanne Schatz thank you for showing me this song never heard it before 
And for all you Graham fans, I hope you enjoy this and keep on wishing here. I try to keep it up. I read every comment there and we'll see about uh, how this evolves on Gordon Guitar. Perhaps we'll have more than just one day when we can bring up the Wish song. So it's up to you if I have um, um, some material to work with and then we're gonna boost it up. So yeah, thank you for your support guys and until next time, play tuned.